Hello everybody, in this video we will slide in color, 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 by the way. All right, uh, so what I want to do is actually add um, the ability to our slider script to interpret a slide deck file that looks like this. And this is uh, the actual slide deck file I used here for this one. You can see the first slide, slide in, then we have color, and then we have color in color 1, C equals 1, and we have it in a different font here, and the font is called Henry 3D, F equals Henry 3D. Uh, and the next slide, color, uh, now with lolcat, but the def default font, uh, and then the arch logo, which is read from a file with color 4. And here you can also see that color is uh, uh, spelled the whole word, uh, and here we only uh, uh, do a C. All of this I want to be able to do after this video is finished, so let's get to it. I think the first thing we do is just copy this uh, uh, slide deck into our own slide deck here that we are using with Slida. Um, and then we can see what happens if we do slider slide deck, get slide in as, as expected, uh, whoops, and then we get color as expected, but then we get the whole shebang here, the whole string, of course, because we are not uh, interpreting these options or uh, the files or anything here. So we've got some work to do. Um, and I think, yeah, we do this. We remove our infinity loop here. And I think we also remove the less for now because I, I, I want to test a couple of things here. Slide will be a line in the slide deck, the variable slide. Uh, and then we split it here with map file and stuff uh, uh, with underscores. But this is something we shouldn't do if uh, that line is, for example, a file or something, you know. So I like to do this, create a regular expression test here uh, and try to capture uh, all different uh, stuff that's going on in, in our file here. We can, we can copy our slide deck into the script just for reference and comment them out here. So the most advanced line in this uh, uh, slide deck is this one, which have an option string here, uh, this uh, left pointing angle bracket that uh, declares that this is a, you should read input from a file instead of, of printing the text as a slide here. Uh, and it's best to start with the most complicated one. So we have the beginning of the line, and then we have at symbol, and then we have the option string, but the option string, that can be a bunch of different characters. That can almost be any kind of uh, characters, but at least one, so I use plus here. Any character, one or more occurrences. And then the option strings end with uh, double at symbols. And I, I just use these double at symbols uh, because they are good markers. It, it, it would be, yeah, I guess you could create a slide that have double at symbols like that, but then you would get in trouble. So it's something that more or less never uh, occurs in, uh, uh, yeah, you get what I mean. Then we have white space here. And this white space, uh, that can be uh, either a single space, but it should also be, uh, we could also add a tab or maybe multiple white space. I think all of them can be valid. Uh, so let's use the space character class and put a plus uh, after that one as well. So one or more spaces after the double add symbols. Then we have uh, this guy. And now Shellshake get, gets a bit angry here because we're using uh, this uh, angle bracket. So let's uh, add it inside a character class. No, that didn't work as well. 
whatever, let's add it here. I know it will work later. And then we add after the bracket, we have space again. And then we have uh, the file name, which can be one or more characters. But uh, this option string, some slides doesn't have an option uh, string at all. So it's uh, actually an optional, optional option string, you know. Uh, so let's put that whole thing in, in a group here. The at symbols, the op option string itself, and also the spaces after uh, the at symbols. All of them could uh, be uh, enclosed in a group. And if we put a question mark after uh, that group, that means uh, this element in this regular expression is uh, optional. It uh, can occur one or zero times. That's what the uh, question mark means. It's uh, just like plus. Plus means one or more, and this is seven or, or seven, zero or one. Um, and then uh, the bracket part here, uh, and the space that is also an optional group and now you'll see that this uh, red marking here will magically disappear when we put it inside a group uh, and that is also optional because that only occurs on lines uh, that uh, yeah these file kind of lines uh, and then the la last part the actual slide itself or a slide text itself or file name uh, that is not optional but we can put that in a group uh, as well. And then we can even end this with a dollar sign for good measure. Uh, so now we have created a very complicated uh, regular expression, but I think it will save us a lot of time doing it this way. Well, I would actually like to add a group around this as well. Uh, when we're doing this, because the options here, uh, we don't really care about the at symbols and the trailing spaces after them. All we are interested in, in is really the content of, of the opt, uh, option group, so to speak. So we nest, nest this group inside of this one. Uh, but now, when, when you're doing this, it gets really tricky because the, the benefit of, of grouping things, uh, except that you can yeah, make long uh, parts of the regular expression optional and things like that, is that you can also access these groups now uh, through the built-in array uh, bash rematch. And would like to make a, a little test here to print the content of uh, the bash rematch for us. So let's do for uh, b in bash rematch at symbol doink do echo bash rematch v is equal to bash rematch the doink and then we use an exclamation mark there and close the loop and then we can do an echo and then we can do a continue here and don't yeah we can comment this part out now we get this now it only prints uh, the content of the bash rematch array here and it doesn't do um, create any slides or anything. Uh, and that's just what I want here because we, we want to identify which group is which here or which element in the array uh, corresponds to, to which uh, group. And we can see that the uh, zero is always the whole uh, line of the slide here. Um, and uh, mm, 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 one is empty in the first two slides. Uh, so one is uh, the, the option group. And if we pay close attention, we can see that the trailing white space is included here, here, 
there is no trailing white space. Uh, so a group or element one in bash rematch uh, contains the option group if it's present. Otherwise, it's just empty. Uh, but uh, bash rematch two contains the actual option string. Uh, three is empty in all of the slides except the last one where it contains the bracket and the trailing space. And four uh, always contains uh, some text, uh, usually the slide or the file. So let's, uh, to make it easier for us, uh, we, can, uh, we can also see here that 1 and 0 uh, are, are uh, elements that we don't really use. But 2, that is option string, or yeah, opt, opt string we can call it, is equal to uh, bash rematch two and then we have this file indicator thing we can call it file indicator that is group or element three and then we have text is equal to four Right, and we can remove our test loop here, and we can add this stuff here instead. Okay, um, if we just if we use slide here now, slide will always contain the full line in our file. You know, uh, slide is basically the same thing as dollar or bash rematch zero. We don't want to use that anymore now when we uh, actually print stuff. Instead, we use uh, the last element, uh, which we placed into the uh, variable text. So let's change slide here to text. Now, I think, uh, also, if we add less here, I think it will work here now. First slide, color, 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 but now we don't get any color, of course, because we don't parse the options or anything. And then the last slide uh, only prints the last part here. Uh, but here we would actually like to, to print the content of this file, the Arch logo file. Uh, and that means we want to do different things if, uh, yeah, if we want to uh, print the file. And we can easily see if we want to print the file, then file indicator is not empty, otherwise it is. So we could create an if else here. If an file indicator, then uh, colon else we do all the other things phi but we actually always reset the page we always reset the page and we always print the page, even if it is uh, uh, with Figlet or from a file, you know. We can put those outside of this if uh, statement block. But if file indicator is not empty, then we want to read uh, from the file uh, in text here, this file. Uh, but first we should make sure that the file actually exists. Uh, but before we do that, we should also expand the tilde if uh, the line starts with a tilde. So we could do that first. Text starts with uh, a tilde. We could even... It doesn't really matter. Uh, but regular expression tests are like the slowest test you can do. This is actually a complicated slow test in one way. But imagine doing this without the regular expression. It, it kind of 
evens out. But doing something like this, it's almost, uh, we could have actually do this. If the first character, zero colon one, is equal to a tilde. That's better. If that's true, uh, then text is equal to uh, home slash text colon two. And this will create a substring of the variable text starting at the third character. So from this, from the T and onwards here, it will skip the tilde and the slash. And the reason I want to start there at the third character is because we already add the slash here. If that file doesn't exist now, text, then we will continue and, and uh, continue with our loop. But if it do exist, uh, then we want to center the content of that text horizontally uh, and add that to our page. So page is equal to center h and then the content of the file text uh, yeah like that uh, but here we will see we have a problem now because uh, center h uh, actually uh, will um, figlet uh, the whole arch logo file here and we really don't want to do that so Let's move this figlet thing to the figlet part of the script, which is this. Change this to line, and then we can remove line here, and we should put this in quotes there. Um, yeah, let's try this. Slide in, color, 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 and it didn't read from our file. If file indicator page is equal to center age ah I know what it is this will print expanded this will print as home that's why Hey, it read from the file and printed our arch logo centered horizontally and vertically. Nice. Okay. We now also want to apply the options in our opt screen. That is, of course, a little bit more uh, complicated, but not that complicated. Uh, let's create first a function that's, that's called default options which will set uh, default options. Uh, and the different options are uh, foreground, uh, the color. Uh, let's uh, set it to an empty string for now. And then the font can also be an empty string and lolcat is equal to zero. Uh, but foreground, we want to set it, set this variable should be a color. Uh, and that color uh, we can achieve get from uh, teapot teapot set af1 uh, figlet hey prints uh, figlet in red color here uh, but we could also do this um, c red is equal to the output of teapot set af1 like this, 
and that uh, uh, puts an escape code now in the variable c red here meaning i can do echo hello but i can also do echo c red hello and then it prints uh, hello in, in red text and that is uh, the kind of stuff we want to add to our foreground um, but the default foreground color is actually uh, stored in a weird teapot command that's called sgr0 that will reset all formatting uh, so we could yeah, we can do this it's a, it's a little bit dirty but whatever uh, I think we can make like uh, an extra sode after the next video. Uh, the next video I think will be the last one in the series, uh, but then I can make an extra sode and refactor and make some things a little bit more efficient and stuff. But let's just use this now. So default options and default options uh, is something. Yeah, for every slide, uh, we encounter here we we can do set options and we pass opt string here and remember sometimes opt string is empty for example in these slides but it doesn't matter we always set options set options um, and the first thing we do in set options is set the default options. And maybe we should be good boys here and prefix these variables with underscores to uh, really uh, denote that they are uh, global because we will use these in other functions and stuff like that. Uh, so first we reset the options to the default options. But if we have uh, the, the value opt string here, dollar one in set options. If that is not empty, then we override the default options. Uh, we can do local opt string is equal to dollar one. But if opt string is empty, then we don't do this. And then the only thing we do in set options is setting the default options. But if opt string contains uh, values, let's uh, move this block down here. An opt string can look uh, like this. This is the most complicated one because it sets uh, two different options, color and font. Um, and the options are separated with a colon. Uh, so let's use my new friend, map file. Uh, and create an array that's called opt array uh, and use uh, opt string replace colon with a uh, new line and loop o in opt array at do that means that o will be the first time it will be this and the next uh, time it will be f equals henry 3d in this uh, uh, for this option uh, so the options are in turn also separated with an equal equal sign but here i don't feel we need to use a map file here since it, we always know it's it's only two it's uh, like the key and the value so we could could instead do something like k is equal to o uh, but we remove everything 
after the equal sign and v is equal to uh, o but we remove everything before the equal sign and then we can do a case k in uh, c or color uh, do something or maybe f or font or maybe l or lolcat and a default one the default we just continue it's always good practice to set the default first isac to close the case and then we have f and font and we have l or lolcat uh, and if we start with a uh, color here uh, what we what we really want to do is change the content of this variable the global variable foreground uh, to something like teapot set af uh, v and v will be everything after the equal sign you know so either yeah one or, or something here of course we could extend this to make sure that v is actually a number here when we set the color and stuff but let's uh, let's not do that now uh, and font of course is um, do something similar font is equal to or I think it's enough to do V and lolcat is equal to V there um, as you can see, these are yellow now because we are not using them anywhere in our script. Uh, if we want to change the, the color now, we can, just as we do here, we echo uh, the co uh, escape code together with the text. We can do the same thing here when we actually print the text which we are doing here. So if we just add foreground before our block, it should change uh, the foreground. And remember we, we always set the default option so if if we have don't have any options or don't have a valid color it will set the de default uh, uh, color let's see if if this worked first slide no colors but we get this weird text here now next slide same weird text next slide different weird text and so on and these are the actual escape codes you know here they are printed in in text uh, because less uh, doesn't uh, um, render escape codes uh, or escape characters by default but all we need to do is add lowercase r to uh, less here and if you are interested, you can look into the <laughs> extremely uh, long man page here for less because you can do so much things with this little program. But one thing you can do is adding that uh, lowercase r option, uh, which will make it, uh, yeah, you can see here, uh, read raw control characters. Th this is really what we want. There is also uppercase R, but I have had uh, some issues with that. Lowercase R works uh, better uh, in my opinion. But now if we try this, oops, no weird escape characters, but this is no, uh, still not in color, but this one is but the rest is not. But the arch logo is also in color because we also have color formatting here and it still works uh, yeah so now you see the power of that uh, complicated regex uh, 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 in action 
let's see 29 minutes yeah i think we can actually do the f the font and the lolcat in five minutes if if we are good boys now um figlet fonts are stored in the directory uh, usr share figlet fonts and here are all those uh, fonts here uh, the flf uh, we could do ls flf and this only prints uh, the actual figlet fonts and if we wanted to use one of these fonts we could just do figlet dash f and then for example varsity here I, I have no idea how it will look like but then hey sun and we can see it prints it in this font if we wanted to use uh, wow it will look like no, it didn't work uh, some fonts doesn't work I, i'm not sure why but whatever whimsy yeah that's really whimsy oh look look how whimsy it is all right whatever um so all we need to do because the default font is a blank string empty string uh, 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 here we have the figlet so we can do something like this if uh, the variable font plus colon if the variable font has a value then we print uh, dash f uh, font could even do no maybe not let's do this i think this will work um, let's see if we have any fonts here yeah henry 3d is a font i know that no it is uh, henry 3d it looks like this amazing um, so slide a slide deck okay now i have accidentally added yeah hmm. okay something got messed up yeah here yeah. Ah, it's colon plus, isn't it? Slide in, color, different font, different color, normal font, that guy. Right, uh, font solved. Lolcat, that is here. Uh, and if Lolcat, I don't think we have that now in any options here. Let's add it to uh, a logo. Lolcat is equal one could also add it to color lolcat equal one or we could actually add just an l because both of them should work or we actually have lolcat there okay whatever let's remove that one um and that is something we can do here when we actually print the whole page we can do if lolcat the variable lolcat is equal to one then uh, do this pipe that to lolcat else 
we just print it as it is. No lolcat, no color, no lolcat, no color, 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 no lolcat. Okay, it didn't work. And that is because you need to use the magical dash F option to lolcat. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, lolcat and everything works. One thing though is that, uh, that I discovered is that uh, you see, this one is red as expected. This one is lolcat. But if I press page up here now, you will see now this one has a completely different color. Now this one is red, it shouldn't be. And this one default. Uh, but I discovered that to get rid of this, we just add uh, the format. I guess this show note function is not needed. We add the foreground variable both before and after the block, and then it will work to it will kind of work to to uh, go back and forward in uh, uh, our slide deck and, and keep the correct colors. You see, sometimes you get weird artifacts like this, but it's much better uh, than uh, the other way. Another cool thing with this is, I, I don't think I've shown you, is that you can, if I press up and down arrows here, I can scroll the page. Like scrolling it here, and now, up, oh, you can see, now I moved the whole uh, slideshow, it's kind of cool. Except for the first slide, which, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, there will be one more video, and we will add quite a lot of stuff in that one. I, I whatever, let, let's save that to the next one. But now we, we kind of got a working uh, program here, uh, which already can do a lot of things. Uh, but I would like to extend uh, the syntax for the slide deck quite a bit here, uh, so that we can also add text that sh that shouldn't be printed uh, with figlet, like just normally, like uh, if we uh, include a file. Uh, but we take that in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye bye bye.